This is a major investment in Deakin and a major investment in the Geelong region. It's a major investment in the future of manufacturing and it reflects great confidence in where this goes for our country for the future. A major investment in the high skilled jobs of tomorrow. A major investment in the future of our economy. The new centre will draw together Australia's world class expertise in fibre science and materials technologies and position Australia as an international hub for new materials industries. The centre will involve four research platforms carbon fibre manufacture and materials technology, nanofibre discovery, characterisation and application, green natural fibres, as well as smart and functional fibrous materials. The project will support a more than doubling of laboratory space from 1,500 square metres to 4,000 square metres. Three additional research groups, between 220 and 270 additional researchers, 50 additional Australian international research collaborations, the co-location of another 86 CSIRO researchers and 120 on-site jobs during the construction period. Those jobs are important as well. The project planning is now in progress with construction scheduled to commence in December this year and will be completed by September 2012. This altogether will be a $102 million centre receiving funding support from Deakin University, the CSIRO and the Victorian Centre for Advanced Material Manufacturing. And I thank each of those institutions for their collaboration and their support. So this is a good day. Not only have I learned a few things, wandering around and seeing what nanofibers can do and what composites can do and where they may take us for the future, understanding how that fits within our narrative for the future of our nation and building a strong Australia, not just for today, but for tomorrow, but to also help in our own practical way in making this centre of excellence a global centre of excellence, which will be the envy of the world. If I have one overall ambition, it is to ensure that we are leading the world, not just in the way in which we manage the strength of our economy, not just in being... That's what's going to be built. It's quite a lot bigger. <laughs> More importantly, it's not just the size of a building, as my father was said in Queensland, the bigger the hat, the smaller the property. <laughs> it's actually what goes on inside. But having a decent place to work is really important as well. So congratulations CSIRO, congratulations Deacon. Congratulations to each and every one of you who are researchers of excellence uh, here at this great institution. For those of you who have come to study here from abroad, and I've met so many PhD students and postdocs this morning. I'd also say to each of you how much we welcome your contribution to what we do here in Australia. We are an international community, and we are proud of that fact. We are proud of our collaboration with each and every one of you, because we regard ourselves also as part of the worldwide family of research and innovation, the benefit of humankind as well. So congratulations on this centre, and for all who shall serve in her, and to the extent that I can declare a project commenced, I've now declared it commenced.